did an asteroid kill the dinosaurs? In 1980, Nobel Prize winning physicist Luis Walter Alvarez and his geologist son Walter theorized that historic layers of iridium rich clay were caused by a large asteroid impacting with the Earth. The immediate instantaneous devastation and widespread secondary effects of the asteroid impact were thought to be the reason why the dinosaurs died so suddenly. Luis Walter Alvarez, left, and his son Walter, right, are known for their theory that an asteroid hit our planet 66 million years ago and wiped out all dinosaurs and many other animals except birds. Image, Lawrence Berkeley Lab slash Wikimedia Commons. Read more. Asteroids are large, rocky bodies orbiting the sun. They range from a few meters to several hundred meters in diameter. Fragments of asteroids that survive landing on Earth become known as meteorites. The Alvarez hypothesis was initially controversial, but is now the most widely accepted theory for the mass extinction at the end of the Mesozoic. How big was the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs? Paul says, the asteroid impact is supported by really good evidence because we have identified a crater. It is now largely buried in the seabed off the coast of Mexico. It is exactly the same age as the extinction of non-bird dinosaurs, which can be traced in rock records around the world. The impact site, known as Chicxulub Crater, is centered on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The asteroid is thought to have been 10 to 15 km wide, but the speed of the impact created a much larger crater, 150 kilometers in diameter. It is the second largest crater on Earth. Iridium is one of the rarest metals on Earth. It is usually associated with extraterrestrial influences, since the element occurs more abundantly in meteorites. C. Chemical Elements of Hello Statue Wikimedia Commons, CC by 3.0. Read more. The crash that killed the dinosaurs threw large amounts of debris into the atmosphere and caused a massive tsunami to wash away parts of the Americas. There is also evidence of substantial fires from that point in history. For a long time, dinosaurs other than birds were thought to have died 65 million years ago. But, explains Paul, dating of clay layers around the world is very accurate and estimated to be within a few thousand years. Recent redating has refined that, and the date of the dinosaur extinction is 66.0 million years ago. Why did dinosaurs go extinct? About 75% of the Earth's animals, including dinosaurs, died suddenly at the same point in time. So how was this global mass extinction caused by a rock crashing onto the coast of Central America? Paul says, the asteroid hit at high speed, effectively vaporizing it. It created a huge crater and there was complete devastation in the immediate area. There was a huge blast and heat wave and it threw huge amounts of material into the atmosphere. It sent soot traveling all over the world. It did not block the sun completely, but it reduced the amount of light reaching the surface of the Earth, so it affected the growth of the plants. Shock waves from the asteroid's landing on the Yucatan Peninsula devastated the immediate area. Image by Donald E. Davis, courtesy of NASA slash JPL Coltech, via Wikimedia Commons. Like dominoes, this has dragged down the food chain and disrupted ecosystems. The reduced lifespan of plants meant that herbivores' ability to survive was severely affected, and carnivores also suffered from the lack of available food. The breeding season would have been shorter and conditions more difficult. All creatures would have been affected in some way, both on land and at sea. There is much debate about the actual killing mechanism and how long the period lasted. There are still many unknowns, but it was a massive event affecting all life on Earth, from microorganisms to dinosaurs, says Paul. The casualty list is long. Among them, ammonites, some microscopic plankton, and large marine reptiles all died. But the losses made room for the beginnings of the modern world. Deccan traps and global climate change. Responsibility cannot rely on asteroids alone. Prior to its crash landing, the Earth had experienced a period of climate change. This made things difficult for life on our planet. In what is now central India, there was substantial volcanic activity which, although unrelated to the asteroid impact, was causing its own problems. The resulting lava outcrops are now known as Deccan Traps. Paul says, there has been a huge amount of volcanic activity going on for two million years, spewing geysers into the atmosphere and having a huge impact on the Earth's climate. 
there have also been long-term changes. Continents drifted and broke up into each other, creating larger oceans and changing ocean and atmospheric patterns around the world. This also had a strong impact on climate and vegetation. Ammonites were just one of a group of animals that became extinct during the cretaceous Paleogene extinction event 66 million years ago. The last non-bird dinosaurs lived at a time of environmental change, some of which began millions of years before they became extinct. Asteroids were the last killer blow. What survived the asteroid impact? During the Cretaceous extinction event, plants were less affected than animals because their seeds and pollen could survive the harsh period longer. After the extinction of the dinosaurs, flowering plants dominated the planet, continuing the process that began in the Cretaceous and continue to do so today. However, all land animals weighing more than 25 kilograms died. What we are left with is essentially what species we have today. Many of the major animal groups alive today were in place before the asteroid impact and they all suffered some level of extinction, but the line that led to modern animals passed, Paul states. All dinosaurs except birds became extinct, but dinosaurs survived as birds. Some species of birds became extinct, but the lineages that led to modern birds survived. Initially, the survivors were small and birds first experienced evolution to larger sizes. There were several strains of predatory and herbivorous giant birds, but they did not exist for very long and became extinct. This is the fossilized skull of a large, flightless bird that lived during the Eocene. This specimen is about 50 to 55 million years old. Only 15 million years after the non-bird dinosaurs disappeared, in what is known as the Oligocene, we started to get really big mammals. This is when rhino-sized animals start to reappear. But up to that point, the world is filled with small animals, especially compared to the dinosaurs that came before them. It took a while for body size to catch up. Dinosaurs remain the largest land animals that ever lived. The only animal that has ever surpassed them in size is the whale. Would dinosaurs have survived? There is research to suggest that the fate of life on Earth could have been very different if the impact had occurred elsewhere on the planet. If it had fallen just a few minutes later, the asteroid would have landed in deeper water, evaporating and raising less rock and blocking the sun's light and warmth. This would have reduced the likelihood of mass extinctions. However, if the reign of the dinosaurs had not ended abruptly with the asteroid, Paul believes we might have seen some, other than birds, around today. Triceratops was one of the last non-bird dinosaurs, so if an asteroid missed Earth, it is possible that some of its descendants could be seen today. I think some of them would still be around. We don't know much about the last 100,000 years of their reign, and what we do know is based on the only region in the world, Western North America. There are really good records of those classic last non-bird dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops. From that part of the world, dinosaurs seem to be thriving in terms of numbers, but the numbers of different species are declining. We don't know if that pattern is held elsewhere, it's still a big mystery. Without the asteroids, dinosaurs may have survived a little longer, but as modern birds, mammals and reptiles have started to develop, they do not dominate as they 